Hey, what's going on, everybody? So today, we are going to be talking about wiping your drives. Now, you may have already seen my video on partitioning your drives, and that kind of included a way to format them, or a bunch of different ways to format them, I guess. So let's say, hypothetically, you're selling a hard drive, or you're sending a hard drive away to be repaired, or something like that, and you want to make sure that all of your personal data is completely gone. Now, you may think that when you delete something, that it actually goes away. This is not true. So when you're using a hard drive and you delete something, the space goes from used to available to overwrite. So it's not gone at all. The data's not gone. It's just the, the computer now knows that if it needs to overwrite that space, then that space will be available. So that data is extremely easy to reaccess. And I'll do that in a, uh, in a further video for uh, some data reconstruction. But for now, we are going to focus on how to get rid of that data so it cannot be recovered by simple, normal methods. So as you can see here, we have um, a spare hard drive that I have labeled as test, and this is what we're going to be using today. Um, going to, real quick, let's add a file. Add a world, and we are going to save it to this drive. So, if I were to just delete this, now that's going to send it, it looks like it's gone, but it is in fact over here in the trash can. So, that could be restored, and then there it is again. So, even if I were to delete this and send it to the trash can and then empty the trash can, I would still be able to retrieve this document with uh, something like Isis Data Recovery. And that is a software that I have used quite frequently to get data for clients off of drives that have either corrupted or we've had to wipe. So, how do we get rid of sup.txt permanently and forever? So we're going to delete it. Empty recycle bin. Adios. Okay, so now this drive understands that that space that that document took up is available to overwrite. So, the first way that we can do this is to open up a command prompt, type the word cipher, forward slash w, colon, and then whatever the drive letter is that we want to wipe. So we want to get rid of d, d, colon, enter. So what cipher is going to do for us is it's first going to write zeros to every single sector on the drive, and that's going to do a basic overwrite of any of those spaces that are available to be overwritten. It's going to execute that overwrite. Now, these spaces can still technically be recovered with the proper software. So after the zero write, it's going to do a random digit write, and then uh, I believe it's going to do uh, one more uh, zero write after that. So Cypher is very, very nice. It's uh, pretty simple to use. It does take a lot of time because it's doing those three different write-overs. Uh, but it's nice because it's built in. It's free. It's just part of Windows. I'm comfortable doing this with most drives that I would sell. And if a customer does ask me to uh, properly wipe a drive, I'll do this pretty often. The second way that we can do this is with a program that you may have heard of called CCleaner. And it is a fantastic little program. Uh, there are paid versions. The free version will normally get you uh, where you need to go. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Okay, so CCleaner offers a bunch of different stuff. Um, you can clean out your registry, you can clean up temp files and stuff like that, so that's cool. We're not going to do any of that today. I'm going to go down to Tools, and then down to Drive Wiper. So all we're going to do here is select whatever disk or disks we want to do. You can actually do multiple disks at the same time with this program, which is quite nice if you're doing a batch. In this case, we're selecting D. And this gives you a few different options here, which are quite nice. Um, you can wipe this free space, so that's going to maintain any data that's already on the disk. It's going to keep that in place, and then it's going to wipe all the free space. Or you can do a full drive wipe, and that's going to take any data that you have on there. It's going to delete it permanently, and any free space, it's going to also do a zero overwrite. So you can do with this simple, the advanced, the complex, the very complex. And... <laughs> The very complex, I've actually run it one time on a one terabyte drive. I think it took three and a half days to run that. So 
that's going to run for a very, 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 very long time. But it will be extraordinarily thorough. So if thorough is what you're looking for and you've got three and a half days to let it run, have at it. Now what's cool here is that uh, they really, really don't want you to accidentally erase all your data. So if you saw that before, it makes you type the word erase into here. So you're definitely not going to do this on accident. The other nice thing that this does is if you select a solid state drive, like that, like my primary drive there, it's going to tell you that pri it's not recommended for a solid state drive. Basically, when you erase things uh, in this way on a solid state drive, you're rewriting every single sector on the drive, and solid state drives have a maximum read write count uh, for their overall lifetime. And this is going to dramatically reduce your drive's lifetime if you start doing this. So they tell you that. And um, they, you know you can still continue if you want to, but it at least gives you the information. So that's CCleaner. That's, uh, that's a really decent option for properly wiping your drives. The last option we're going to talk about is my favorite. It is called 12-gauge double-ot buck. Now you may think that's uh, completely a joke, but it's not really. I actually do get rid of drives this way, just because it's a way of uh, actually obliterating the internal hardware. Getting that data back off of there afterwards would be pretty much impossible. There are services that you can actually pay if you have a, a bulk of hard drives, and you can send them to this service, and they will cut the drive completely in half. They uh, send you a certificate with the drive serial number and say this drive was destroyed. I think I had uh, 600 pounds worth of hard drives uh, a few years back and I sent them off to one of these places and just got this massive list of drive serial numbers and yep, they had all gotten cut in half. So that is an option if you've got a ton of hard drives to do and you don't have space or you know the desire to use a 12 gauge on them. So that's going to be about it for this episode, guys. Thanks very much for stopping by. I really appreciate all the support I've been receiving. If you do want to support me in this, then uh, hit that little red button down there and the bell next to it is also quite helpful if you're uh, interested in seeing when these videos do pop up. If you do have any requests or anything that you would like to see me talk about or uh, are curious about that you'd like to see me explore, please just let me know in the comments below. I always read the comments and I'd be happy to uh, help you out in any way I can. So anyways, thanks once again for stopping by. You have a nice day.